Captain, my captain. Captain, urgent news from the general. Why not really blow it up, Captain? Captain Blob, barking is hard to fire. I'm giving her all she's got, Captain. My captain. No, Captain, they're alive. everyone we are back with another summer of legends host and this is going to be captain crockpot versus mitosis we're getting started here with tamoe versus wukong on baskerville and with me i've got impaza how you doing man good hello hello happy to take my first stab at commentating yeah 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 i, I know that i've done some hosts for you before and obviously you were on the uh the finals weekend um, not too long ago so uh but yeah now you're on this side of the desk and uh, i gotta say it's a lot of fun so i'm glad you reached out and asked about it yeah no, i'm looking forward to it should have a good match on your hands yeah so we've got here um on crockpot's side uh daredevil and tomoe as the two fighters that he's got and uh strange and achilles were the bands opponent and self uh, respectively and then uh, on Mitosis' side has Bigfoot and Wukong. Um, starting out with Wukong here, obviously. And then Sherlock and the sisters, actually, were the band's uh, opponent himself. So we've got a turn one attack from Tomoe there. Put in a little bit of pressure on Wukong. Um, two damage, but Wukong makes a clone out of it. So only pays a little bit more than usual for a clone. Already has two on the board. I think it was and, two uh, what's up? I think he so he moved out of the zone too. So he's taking oh, yes, four yeah, already. Now he's now he he did take one more when he moved out of the zone this turn. So Tomoe getting some good damage in here early, but uh <laughs> well it's gonna it, this is one of those where it can be quite difficult for Tomoe as the game goes on. Um we'll see clones be very annoying to deal with, not only positioning wise, but uh Obviously, getting through them as Tomoe is not the easiest thing, because they unfortunately do not count as heroes. Deeds of Valor and Taunting yeah. Laughter. Tomoe either has to discard a card Another here card or take two. Mm -hmm. Not as bad as usual, thanks to Deeds of Valor actually negating one of the damage from Taunting. So, probably won't see her discard unless she has something like real throwaway in hand. Yeah, I feel like usually a one card for one damage trade is not ideal. So it would yeah. not be surprised to see him not discard here. Um, yeah. It seems like a pretty good start for Tomoe overall. But like you mentioned, I think she needs a lot to go her way here. It's 11-0 mm -hmm. in favor of Wukong on UM League. So certainly an uphill battle. Jeez, oh, I didn't realize it was that yeah. bad. That was a perfect play. I'm happy with that play. <laughs> I'll take I mean, the ability not working against sidekicks, her cancel's not working, and where the opponent only being a three makes it pretty brutal. So, yeah. and Wukong himself is probably never going to be attacking. So, yeah, exactly. It's like the clones are going to do all the work. The only slight upside is that Flash of Steel does do fine into Jingabong because uh, while it will not cancel. Uh, the effects, of course, it, the clone will die, and so the second attack will not mm. go through. Um, however, if you block an ox with that, it doesn't feel good, <laughs> because that you're still going to be taking quite a bit of damage. Minimum two. I, well, I guess minimum one if you boost with a uh, with a witness, but uh, don't know if you want to do that. That, that being said, you don't really want to hit Wukong with that either, because he can just chain mail and send three damage right back into your face. Yeah, I think, I mean, another in interesting interaction with the Jingubong is you can use it to automatically trigger Confront if you play it on the second half of it. It's true. So, if you can set it up right, I mean, I think your best chance is probably ripping out, you know, like seeing his hand ripping out the only ultimate defense and then hitting for a 7, but yeah. I think a lot needs to go right in order to actually make that happen. And then just constantly trying to pressure, I would assume, and get in his zone and force him to take those pings from moving out because i think if you can consistently attack wukong you have a chance but 
I think mitosis is going to do his best to prevent that. Yeah. I could have seen uh, maybe doing a double maneuver there and going to where this clone just spawned. Just going adjacent to Wukong. Like, it's not... I don't think you're actually that concerned about it. Um, it would mean that he takes the damage if he moves away. And he only had four cards to your six, so it's unlikely that he's going to get too aggressive, especially with Wukong himself. Because mm -hmm. now he just got to summon the clone wall up and send one of the clones after you. Or just back off. Uh, he was here. Start here. Okay. We'll see if he goes in or not, but either way. I actually don't hate just getting up in Wukong's face, especially when you've got the card advantage. Now, of course, we don't know what her hand looks like. Maybe it's not great, but you can't, you don't really want to give that info away, I suppose, by by uh, positioning uh, in a way that makes it look like you don't have much going on. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. Mm-hmm. One thing that is nice, I suppose, is Kizos does let you move through the clones. Um, so that can potentially let you get to Wukong, but again, those ultimate defenses are really going to be a problem. Yeah, exactly. I mean, typically against Wukong, you need to get in more than four times to be able to actually do damage against him. Now, if you confront, you might be able to rip out one or two, but... Oh, Oct right away. Okay, Skirmish a good block into this that. It's actually block. the best yeah. block, right? Yeah, because uh, Worthy is out. not not a 5. Okay. Yeah, I guess Deeds I guess would be pretty, pretty solid because you'd only take 2 there, but... Um, and I guess Confront is also not bad because you'd theoretically be taking like 1 um, and still yeah. getting the discard off. I think the tough thing is confront wins against anything other than Ox if you throw it first action, or if you throw it mm -hmm. not into the second after Jingyuang. This is really tough, man. This is, this is a really tough one. Unless, I suppose, you don't Let's discard, discard against Tong Lao. Yeah. Like, or if, like, some reason he's hitting you with uh, a uh, infinite strikes that has a huge plus or whatever. Yeah, exactly. But needs like all three clones adjacent to you. Looks like a tough choice here for him. I think something like a worthy would make sense. I mean, at the same time, you could maybe try to get it into Wukong because the the thing that Tamoy does have going for her is that she is ranged, so clone walls won't always be able to block off. But obviously, they're going to be. Ooh, okay. I, I don't wow, hate this okay. honestly. Um, because Witness, I do feel, has a lot of problems, as stated previously. Uh, yes. Mostly just because Wukong knows it's coming. Unlike his seven, there's no mind games. They always know about it. So unless you can sneak it in, like, you could theoretically set up a, a situation where you confront to clear out an ultimate defense and then go in with it the yeah. following turn, but that also requires you to be able to get into adjacency with Wukong, and that's the problem. Yeah, which pro probably requires a Kisos, yeah. assuming Mitosis is positioning correctly. So it, it, can, which... it can come together, but it just it takes a lot, so I don't hate it there, especially if you don't have other big boosts in hand, um, because I don't think you probably end up needing both. Um... I think at least one is going to be used as a boost. I suppose another thing is you could save it to boost over Tortoise form, so that's something that you're maybe missing out on a bit of damage there, but you're also saving a good chunk of damage by using it the way you did. Plus, it gets the Skirmish effect, which does let him go for a clone here that's closer to Wukong, maybe try to break through that wall, though, you know, it's just going to get summoned back up here. Here we see the Tortoise. So I think the Tortoise is a good block for the clones, because yeah. you have to boost up. In most cases, pretty considerably to get over it. Which here doesn't need, no boost need to. Well, I guess um you could if you wanted to kill the clone and Wukong. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. Because if you boost, you need a boost with a three, so it's not it's not trivial. But if you do boost with a three, you can kill the clone and then deal the one after combat to Wukong. I mean, you can deal the one to Wukong either way, but I do think you want the clone dead as well. Plus, if you discard or if you boost here, then you're going down to three cards, which feels yeah. We'll call only at three, up. so no, not no, like no. you're not as worried, but yeah, no, it is a consideration. And we're not going to see the boost. Um, I I'm not too surprised by that, just because we did see the witness boost before, so it's unlikely you have another like huge one you're willing to part with. 
and we do seem to just go for the clone. I like clearing the clone over Wukong. It's basically the same difference uh, at the end of the day, but uh, you give them less bodies to work with. Yeah. I think this map was a good pick for Mitosis, too. I mean, so many corridors, the clones can be a real pain here. Yeah. Uh, so we do not see a clone summoned this turn. Wukong does take one from moving out of Tomoe's zone, though. And an attack. Should be debating taking, given that one ox has already been played. Mm -hmm. Gotta play the, what are the odds that the other ox has already showed up? Yeah, but, well, as uh, soon as you start really asking end. yourself, you know that the, <laughs> the chances are 100%. Which, Jingu Bong would be quite nice here into a four card to Moe. Yeah. I'll take it. Does take it. It's and it's like a taunting. Eight. Okay, it's not the worst one to take, because you'd be no. having to you'd be having to ditch a uh, a card anyway for that same or to actually not have that same result. So yeah, which depending on your hand, can be worth it or not. So not the end to take there. Obviously, Ox would have been a disaster, but yeah. okay, oh, so now you have an Ox. So once yeah. you know that he's got the Ox, yeah. then it becomes like a real mind game because. <laughs> Both players know that the ox is in hand, but is he going to swing with it or is he going to swing with a Jingavong? It is the fun Wukong dance. I'll attack with my Clone does survive that piercing, but now yeah. we'll be going down to another piercing. All right. One thing that Tomoe has that Wukong does not is card draw. So she's going to try to leverage it. that to get a leg up here. Another nice thing to note is um, while Wukong is holed up in the library here, uh, Tomawe can still get in uh, because it only protects against a, uh, melee. Uh, now, she can't get any of her mm -hmm. adjacency stuff, but again, she can attack from range. Now, if uh, Wukong maneuvers again and puts the clone on the tri-zone and the other uh, tan space right below where the current clone is up there. That does stop her from getting in unless she keyzos. But just going to leave that tri-zone open. If she wants to come in and attack, she's going to have to be adjacent to two clones going into Wukong's turn, so <laughs> not great. With a known ox in hand. Too, yes, so. <laughs> and that's the big thing. <laughs> An ox in hand still has five. still has both, uh, or still has all the infinite strikes. Still has all the jingo bongs. Like so, there's so many, <laughs> so many things that it could be. Yeah, I feel like Wukong's one of those fighters like T Rex that, as you move through the game and certain cards kind of get checked off the list they've been played, it gets a lot easier to defend against. But when all options are on the table, choosing what you're going to defend is always a nightmare. Yeah. And it's like, if you make the right calls, you're in a good spot. But if you don't, it's like, well, I guess I just action. lose. All right, we're going to see Akizos here to run up and gain an action after the maneuver. So only one attack here. Unfortunately, can't put enough or can't do the double attack stuff. Well, we know it's not being blocked with, and that's Sly Monkey. Yes. It gets no value. It's a blind too. <laughs> Now, Warrior's Way could work well here to, to try to get two effect damage off. Um, yeah. It also works quite well. Uh, okay. Ooh. We are going to see the confront go through here. Um, I was going to say, uh, we... <clears throat> the... Oh, okay. Interesting. Just going to get rid of the ox. Leaves the chain mail. The tough choice between the two, honestly, because you have a lot of answers to Ox. You don't have yeah. as many against Chainmail, but you do still have options. Like obviously, Warrior's Way is a pretty good um, one to throw into it because you're not taking any back, and you can still get damage into him by uh, pushing him out of your zone. Um, of course, exactly. uh, the seven kind of shows that he's not going to be trying to go 
kind of for the big hits, in which case feeding chainmail might make more sense because I think you can get damage through effects and your ability. So yeah, even we'll like skirmish up. is fine because it goes even, and then you still get a push out of zone. Mm -hmm. A funny thing is, if Wukong sits on the passageways, you're always going to be able to shove them out of your zone. Which is pretty nice for Yeah, Tom. exactly. It works well for your ability. Gonna block off, yep, the light blue. I wonder if we'll see the other clone go. Okay, yeah. So we need another Kisos here in order to get an attack off on Wukong himself. Yep. And I want to even open up a double attack. One thing I was going to say about Bewilderment uh, before it got flipped was uh, if you can keys those in and get a double attack turn, um, Warrior's Way is actually a way to stop Bewilderment from getting him out of the double attack because you get placed adjacent afterwards. Mm -hmm. Yeah. These stupid That's like always debating this. Okay. Oh no, attacking from range, yeah. Move. Okay, ah, back in hand. This unfortunately will not Pretty late. Like, yeah, interesting against the clone where the I can't do what I want to do. Yeah, and I think actually <laughs> Crockpot realizing now that it doesn't quite work how he wanted. Yeah, it feels like a great interaction for Mitosis there. Keeps the clone alive, gets the ox back, and the warrior's way out. Yeah, warriors is huge against Wukong himself. I definitely think that that might have just been a miscalculation. Because the clone also stays alive if it blocks with transformation. Which it mm -hmm. did. We see him cycling at oxes. Not, uh, doesn't have the phoenix yet. Not as worried about cycling that. Just wants big damage, and that's fair. I feel like this question is uh, trying to get intel on me, Chupa, for our next uh, our next match, and I, I must refrain from answering. Uh, you can talk to my lawyer. Okay, so this will still deal the damage to Tomoe because the effects do not get canceled since the clone is not a hero, and uh, the Wily goes off before the Flash of Steel kills the clone. <laughs> he top oh, decks some Phoenix yeah, form. Congratulations. I was just about to say, he's starting to get a little low on health, where if you can pressure and force him to keep moving out of your zone. But. Yeah, every time you think Phoenix, that, <laughs> then Phoenix comes on and you're like, well, must be nice. <laughs> top half, top, Too uh, top half of the deck, Phoenix. Uh, That's brutal. So, I mean, at most, he's getting one more off, but still, that becomes a lot to go. Ooh. Oh, that doesn't real. block the the confront, and that's gonna be rough. Which I feel like, with only three cards in hand, one of which you know is an attack, the chances of blocking there are a little bit lower. So yeah, yeah, I don't I don't love that or the uh, warrior's way attacks into the clones, honestly. I do feel like at this point, like, even though you know the chainmail is in hand, like, I don't think he cares that much about the clone. Especially after getting the Phoenix off. And even if he blocks, it's going to be something like 72 to get back the Phoenix form so you won't even get the, the discard in that case. Yeah, so with both confronts gone, that makes it very difficult to play that last seven. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, basically impossible. <laughs> Because unless my toast gets in a really tough spot, he can just always hold one chain mail until the seven comes. And then it's yeah. like, oh, you want to hit me with seven? Well, you're taking three. So. <laughs> yep. Alright, fiery eyes. Okay, so we know right now the last two cards in hand for my toast are the ox and the chain mail. 
There's the last seven. Probably either deeds or skirmish. I'm leaning towards skirmish because it could be attacked with. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. You. You're, you're so right. These worthy opponents are solid if you can actually ever get to Wukong, but good luck with that. Yeah. Correct. Feeling pretty rough for Tomoe right now. But maybe two cards, I guess Wukong will draw off the. Um, Fire eyes and then probably maneuver, so he'll be back up to four. So yeah, it's hard to even put on pressure, especially when you can't even really get to him. Yeah. The downside here as well is with uh, Kizos, um, it's one of your only ways to, it's one of your only ways to get in past the clones if he's blocking off, like we see here, um, but it's also like, you give up the healing and the pass as well in that case, um, and with how many oxes are coming through. You might be a bit worried about that. Yeah, but I feel like using Kisos without the healing right now feels pretty, pretty rough. Because you have actually three more oxes headed your way. Yeah. Attack Bob, whatever his name is. I told you Bob got promoted. Bro. Gonna keep this one alive. All right. And go right adjacent. <laughs> Here come the, the good old mind games. Okay. Yeah, so we know he has Ox and Chainmail. So there's only one other potential attack he could have. Yeah. Ooh, oh, this punishes it that hugely. Yeah. That's actually great interaction. There goes the Ox. This is the Ox. Whoa. Which I guess makes sense when you know Crockpot has the other seven in hand. Okay. Relying on top decking a defense. Pretty, pretty risky. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely hold on to the chain mail. So I'll take one. Then box the second half with the worthy opponent. And then he will maneuver. So definitely a nice interaction there for Tomoe, but Wukong doesn't like it wasn't the worst for him either. He got two cards out and still got a damage. But yeah, no, that was a really good refuse to retreat. Good timing on that. Yeah, I think we need a few more interactives to go his way like that. I mean, I think, I feel like from my toast standpoint, he just needs to make sure he doesn't die out of nowhere there. So mm -hmm. getting rid of the ox is a good call. If like, things just play out how they're looking to, he should be totally fine. So yeah. just need to guard against anything crazy happening. 100%. Could try to go for a uh, here's some strength here. Would kill the clone, uh, regardless of whether it blocks or not, and get you into Wukong's zone so you can maybe get an ability ping off of it. Would be your last one though, so <laughs> you wouldn't have that option anymore. But I don't think it's a terrible time for it if you've got it. If you don't, um. I mean, most things are probably going to kill the clone. I doubt it's blocking. Yeah, I would agree. Only two in hand and probably saving the in mail. Yeah, like, I guess the only way it blocks is if you drew into, like, 72, probably. Let's do unique. I'm just going to do a maneuver. Horn double maneuver. Which I think my toast is fine with. I think he's probably just fine yeah. double maneuvering himself. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he just hand wants up to get, get cards, especially after 
losing the ox, he won't have as much immediate pressure. So just wants to make sure he's in a good spot defensively. Could still uh, attack here if he wants, but I could see just keeping this clone here in the way and maneuvering, maybe putting Wukong up over in the other corner. He's gotten all great use out of those two top corners, just bouncing back and forth. Yep. One thing he's going to want to make sure is that he doesn't open himself up to a rough, uh, fearsome strength that can take out, like, two clones. He can avoid that type of positioning. He's going to be in a pretty solid spot. Yep. We do see an opportunity for it here. And when he goes into the green passageway, attacks that clone with fearsome. If it doesn't block, both clones do die. Unfortunately, does not get her into Wukong's zone, but I mean, taking two clones out for one card is pretty solid. Now, I could see the yeah. clone, if that's what Mitosis is expecting, I could see like a Wily fighting block if he's got it. Ooh, okay. We're gonna tease those through and go for Wukong himself. Definitely not with the seven. Maybe a <laughs> yeah, hey, I'm thinking a Warrior's Way here, maybe. Yeah. Kind of in the same spot as before. There's the Y lane, there's the okay. Warriors. So Tamari will take one. I'm gonna send you one. Wukong will be taking two here. Two. Three. Does get two damage there, which is nice. And Tamari stays in the zone, of course, <laughs> thanks to the warp. So Wukong will take another if he wants to get away. So basically representing three damage on that warrior's way, which has been pretty big. Yeah. That is the last one, though. That's why I would have loved to see another one, uh, like, saved and not used earlier on the clone. Because mm -hmm. it just represents some of the best damage you can get into Wukong. Especially on a map like this, where the passageways make it so you're often going to be able to get the full two. And then also warp and get the one if he backs off. Yeah, so looking at, I guess, effect damage left, there's one more from Fearsome Strength, two potential more from Skirmish, Ooh. and then you have the flashes, so that's six effect damage. Mm -hmm. and there goes one of the flashes in the clone. Both the Bewilderments are gone, so you can't catch that with the flash at least. Do you see Deeds yeah. gotten rid of to save three damage here, which so is fair. I think that's the right call, especially yeah. with two Kisos gone already. All right. Or I guess it saves uh, two damage, but still, yeah. It's like, you don't want to be taking three there. <laughs> and we got everyone in chat here. Got Cosmic, we got Angel, Lucio, Chupa, Cory. Maneuverman himself. We still have a uh, 72, so we still potentially have uh, another Phoenix or just more Oxes. Doesn't matter. I'll take mm -hmm. Yeah. Tortoise. Yeah, okay, Tortoise. We could kill. <laughs> we could kill Less. with the witness. <laughs> I, could. I mean, you're never attacking with the witness, right? So it's uh, like, maybe you yeah. just do it. You probably don't need a four boost to get around here. You're not going to have any other chances to really... I guess you could use it against an ox defensively. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, because we don't have many three boosts left, but we have one worthy opponent. We're out of confront. It would be pretty funny to have a six value piercing shot. 
Yeah. We're also drawing two here, which puts us massively behind in deck. We're running out of time very rapidly. Yeah, Not gonna I mean, go for like it, some though. Point you just need to get and just try to get attack on Wukong. I feel like... I feel like the witness boost might have been correct there. I think you're in a bad spot either way. But I don't know. Like, taking out a clone there... Might have been worth it. <laughs> Because he's, yeah, holding, more he's holding it, a chain now we know I, about, and like, there's another one in deck as well, so it's like, I don't think you're ever gonna... Unless he's like, forced to use it against an attack, and then he, uh... And then he doesn't draw into the other one, but uh, it seems real slim. But yeah, maybe saving it for the defensive boost is, is probably what he's thinking. Yeah, and this could be a good fearsome strength here. You could take out two clones and get in Wukong's zone. Yeah, yeah, no, this would be a huge fearsome strength. Yeah. Even better than that last one, the last opportunity for it. Did draw two from that piercing, and uh, we'll get another one here if we maneuver. I do think that the clone could still reasonably block with uh, Wily. There's one left. We're just going to go for mm -hmm. ranged attack here. Blocks with the transformations. Skirmish will not get her in to attack Wukong, gets back to Phoenix. Big surprise. On the right side, Wukong cannot summon a clone um, on his next turn, so if he wants the full value Phoenix, he's got to wait. Now, do you think on your maneuver here, you just maneuver up into his zone and just go right adjacent? You might have to be doing stuff like that at this point, yeah. I mean, it puts you in a tough spot, but I think you need to... It, it's, it, it feels fight. real bad because, like, you're just begging for infinite strikes into, like, an ox and stuff. But I think you have yeah. to go for stuff like that. Like, if you don't go for it, um, you're just going to lose anyway. Exactly. You may not lose as badly, but I don't think you have as much of a chance to win. <laughs> Immediate attack from the clone. <laughs> did not did not even wait for the timer to swap over. I'm not surprised, but yeah, I do think this is still the right call positioning wise for Tomoe. Okay, that's a good interaction there. No damage and a discard. Gets another infinite strikes out of the way, so yeah, we were gonna see infinite yeah. infinite <laughs> shenanigans. But now we're just gonna see a maneuver. So yeah, definitely definitely made the right call. Jingabong would have been a lot rougher there if it was the first attack instead of an infinite. Hmm. Still two of those left, still an infinite, still an ox. So the mind games are alive and well. Oh yeah. Tomoe got left for defense. She's got a skirmish, a flash, a so deeds, deeds a worthy opponent. I think that's everything. So she's kind of running a bit low on defense as well. I mean, it's not like Wukong has a ton of attacks left. He's used a lot. And the funny thing is, is if she runs out of defense, she's less likely to, <laughs> to block a Jinkabong. Yeah, that's true. I feel like she's just kind of running out of cards in general. I mean, yeah. she's at 8 to 11. Mm -hmm. And every, every uh, card she uses on a clone is whittling down those resources even more. But with positioning yeah. like this, it's going to be hard to not try to have to go through the clones. Especially with Phoenix in hand, like, you just want to keep them off of those. Could do like a five against thousands here. Ooh, okay. Kizos oh, also works. So Last Kizos, get right in there. Ooh, we're actually gonna oh, heal. Okay. 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 Stops the uh, heal. Uh, or, yeah, stops the clone oh, spawn yeah. rather, um, and gets in the zone. So I actually I actually quite like that. Yeah, effectively becomes a one value Phoenix form with denying the clone and the maneuver. Mm -hmm. So, and that's the last Phoenix. So, he's at five. I just don't know if 
Tomoe's gonna have enough attacks or turns to be able to deal the damage. Yeah, the problem is that's also the last Kizos, which is the real issue. Yes. And you have in. a four boost in hand. Which currently does not actually get you in. No. As uh, sad as that is. <laughs> I think you would need a six boost if I'm counting correctly. Yeah, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, yes, you would. So, you know, just take Deadpool's push to teleport and boom, you got it. Exactly. I'm attacking, uh... yep. This is probably five. Mm hmm. Could also be a flash of steel if you're just trying to get the guaranteed kill. I think I just but I don't it. think that the clone blocks, so. Yep, yep, there's the five. Continuing to make clones. <laughs> Yo. Which uh, makes sense. I, mean, I feel like if you continue to pressure Tomoe, in order to stay alive, she's going to have to spend some cards that she can always use yeah. attacking. Because two of her cards left her skirmish and worthy. Yep. Yeah. Other than that, her only attacks left are the seven, which. With the chainmail in hand, you're not worried about, and then the fearsome strength. And the flash, I guess. You have a skirmish on the bottom of your deck, so. Your options for defense are. Oh, yeah, and I guess we do know that the skirmish is bottom card, so. Interesting. She doesn't have that available mm -hmm. at the moment. I will fiery eyes. We're gonna fiery eyes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, now something that uh, Wukong gets to know is that she's guaranteed to have fearsome strength after a maneuver, so he's going to want to keep that in mind for positioning. I guess this is second action, mm -hmm. so he's already in a fine spot for that. She could kill the clone get in Wukong's zone, but can't take out both clones, which is the bigger deal. So yeah, uh, Mitosis will have full knowledge now um, on what uh, on what the hand will be after the maneuver here. And that'll be Fearsome Strength. Uh, so yeah, the hand will be Fearsome, Flash, Worthy Opponent, and Witness after maneuver. Yeah, I will say though, the deck counts have evened up. Considerably, only one behind for Crockpot now, while ahead three in health. True. So, I mean, he was down six cards earlier, so... All right. Maybe he can try to find it out there. Going as well but... As I expected. It's still gonna be tough. It's actually going better than I expected, but it still doesn't feel... ...runnable. Um, it's my turn, right? Yes. Why don't you hit your card? I don't know if you saw. Oh, no, 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 no time's going now. Yep. It was going out now. Okay. Uh, oh my gosh. This is just rough. Yeah, there's definitely outs for Tomoe here. This is just rough. I wonder if she just, like, backs off. Force will turn to come in. Oh. Hello. I don't know, it's a tough call. I would assume if you get attacked here, you're playing Flash of Steel, try to kill off the clone, and then force somebody over after that? Or is this... Oh, okay. She still, she still have one action left? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Do, it could do, be Fearsome. Do. Guarantees kills the clone and gets in Wukong's zone, though that does put you right next to the clone that he summons, I guess. Clone does. Mm-hmm. Um, I will immediately swap with 
it, I believe. Um, yeah, because the problem now is Wukong can just summon a clone, double attack you, and he's fine. So if you flash, though, you can kill the clone off. Uh, that's true. That's true. Nah, it's all right. It's and force a maneuver. I'm not going to swap. All right, so this is your hand. Awesome. And this is bottom deck. Okay. I, I guess if the clone attacked with clone. infinite, I will you could maneuver and attack again. That would be the problem. Yeah, that's and fair point. The clone is going to attack Tamai. And this is where it comes down. Tamari's at seven, so you, you, you can't safely take. <laughs> but if you block a Jingle Bong, you're just screwed. Yeah, pretty much. Because you have, what, four defenses left? It's five defenses left, but you, you're also your attacks because you can't attack with the seven. Yeah, so. and, and two of them are on the bottom right now, so... Taking it, and there it is, yep. Oh. Classic Wukong mind uh, games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you block the Jingle Bong, you lose. Yeah, well, if you block the Ox, you yeah. lose. You just have to make the right call, and unfortunately for Crockpot, did not make the right call there. Yep, yeah, made it pretty close though. Actually, I after a couple... Bad interactions went Wukong way early in the game. I, th I think that uh, Flash of Steel was always safe to block with. Yeah, because you could boost it up with... You can boost four. it with Witness. You only take one. And if it's Jingabong, then the double attack doesn't go through. Yeah. So yeah, I guess, I guess Flash hand, right? was... I'm pretty sure it's the third card there. Because um, the... I think it was the... Unless it was the one that got bottomed. Was it the one that got bottomed, or was Deed? I think Deeds was bottomed. And I, and I had pretty good interactions with Deeds. Yeah. I, I think take... the map wasn't as good for me as I expected it to be. Oh, I, I thought the map was great. Um, but yeah, no, definitely, definitely, uh, well played by both. Um, I think Crockpot did a pretty good job bringing up as close as it could be near the end there. If he had made that call right, I think he still would have been in a bit of a rough spot, but he would have had a shot. I think Wukong just still had too much because he can always be attacking with sly monkeys as passes as well. I don't know. Yeah. And he would have really had to boost that up with seven, which then leaves you only four total Wukong to work with the yeah. rest of the game. So I still think my type it, but I think the health difference would have been a little closer. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. All right, and now we've got Bigfoot left for Mitosis. Oh, I just realized that's... Oh, no. A spot for Crockpot with the Daredevil. Yeah, Dare... Well, also, Tomoe doesn't have an amazing time into Bigfoot. It's not as bad as Daredevil, don't get me wrong, but it's not going to be lovely. Nope. Now, if if he had gotten a Daredevil into Wukong first, that could have put him in, a, in an all right spot, because... Mm -hmm. Well, I think it's still rough for Tomoe. I don't think it's impossible to win against Bigfoot. But yeah, the the, the Daredevil one is like pretty miserable. <laughs> Which do you just try to uh, play that game too and just say I need map here and if I get two out I get two out, but my best chance at winning is Daredevil with map and then Tomoe game three? Yeah, I mean I think I think that's always what you have to do. Um, you have to take the fighter who needs the advantage choice because it doesn't matter whether you go 0 2 or 1 2. It's like at the end of the day, it's still like you're you're not getting <laughs> you're not getting credit for the win. Uh, so yeah, you go you always go for what gives you the best shot, and, and that's specifically in best of three. Now, if this was a situation where you're just trying to get game wins, where it was like best of two. Uh, then you would go for whatever is more likely to get you the win. But when you're going for a best of three, you have to go for, um, you have to go for the rougher matchup when you have the advantage choice, because um, otherwise you're just gonna get to that third one and and not have a, a chance anymore. Yeah, hundred percent. And the Tomoe Bigfoot one is doable. I played that yeah my match last week and it came down to the wire. So 
That one's certainly winnable. This is obviously going to be a bigger hurdle with Daredevil, but if he's able to pull it out here, I think there is a chance in game three. Yeah, it will be rough if Bigfoot has advantage choice, but it's still, like you said, doable. Now, if you're Daredevil here, what are you looking for in the map? Um... So you're going to probably want something that doesn't yeah, let, uh... Yeah. Bigfoot's loving, loving. Doesn't let him get, like, his best, uh... Or, like, it, it's stuff that doesn't give him as many options as far as, like, zone stuff goes. Um... Mm -hmm. I, I also think it's, it's rough because... You probably also want something... <laughs> It's hard to say because the problem is if you go for the long game and try to try to get the infinite cycling off, Bigfoot has so many cancels that unlike most fighters where they don't have enough to stop all your devils, Bigfoot technically does. Now, to be fair, he does have to line you you theoretically have five devils, and so he theoretically has to line all of them up. Mm hmm. But, but still, you also you don't want something dead. yeah you also don't want something like super tight i will say the match spreads have ended up tough for crockpot here so tomoe and the wukong was zero percent win rate and daredevil and the bigfoot is eight percent oh no um, I'm also realizing, based on how they're talking here, it sounds like Daredevil went position. Interesting. I think he's just trying to put the aggression on early? <laughs> Can you? Or just build it? That's kind of my question. Build a hand up? That's rude. Which... Unless you just go crazy, risky, low hand, what happens, happens. <laughs> RNG to the max. Yeah. We're boosting everything. <laughs> Offense, defense, it don't matter. All right. Let's go. So you Let's go. go. <laughs> we got the Daredevil <laughs> shirt. Let's <laughs> So if Mitosis picked this, I'm assuming Daredevil goes, or he will get a chance to attack from high ground, but won't be able to get to low hand count in order to actually boost it up. So Yeah, even if he does like adversity into an attack, it still won't be at that threshold, though it would give him that threshold on defense, I suppose. Mm-hmm. Interested to see the strategy yes. here of how Daredevil chooses to play this. Yeah, I'm also also interested. Oh, yeah. Whenever you got a, a matchup that this that's this bad, um, you kind of have to go for some unconventional stuff. Exactly. I was about to say, if you try to play by the book, and the book says you only win 8% of the time, <laughs> that's probably not the book in favor, so you might as well try something crazy. Yeah. I'm here for it. It's a smart. It's smart. I like, I like your choice here. It's a very, very smart uh, map pick. Clever. Very, very clever. Very, very messed up. Very, very rude. It looks like, okay, we're going to start with adversity. Let's go. <laughs> Seems to indicate we might be getting low hand count up there, Devil here. Attacking from... Okay, Skirmish will win uh -huh. here. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, and with grappling is after, so genius, he can move on to the high ground. All according to plan.
it's really nice and tidy here. So adversity is the first thing with this card. Now, if you're Bigfoot here and you can see that he's going for high hand count, I mean, you can also into that or against that. Like, if you don't approach here, then he's either boosting away cards that he's not going to use just to get the low hand count, or he's not going to be able to attack with or defend with the blind boost. So, kind of interesting counterplay between the two of them. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're gonna see boost attack blind boost. Yeah, I feel like this turn will be pretty telling as to what the plan is. Yeah, because I feel like the normal daredevil is just double maneuver here. You're totally fine with that, but if you're trying to play super aggro, you're boosting in. Yep. Oh, <laughs> we're there getting we rid go. Of all okay. our defenses. Who needs them? Actually, boxer <laughs> would be pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Just extra damage, but is Bigfoot ever going to attack you if you're going for this? Exactly. Uh-oh. You have 12 whole defenses. Ooh, but, Ooh. but, you can get some damage through. Doing one yeah. right now. Could be getting up to three more. It's fine. You're going to hit a uh, man without fear. Man without fear. Four total here. Come on, do I mean, it. I think this is... You've committed. Do it. Do it. I feel like. Do it. Yeah, if you're going to... Boosting with What's defenses, the worst you might as What's well. What's the worst that can happen? Ah, oh, boo! Yeah, you would. No boost. <laughs> yeah, you, you gotta go for the boost there. You can't stop now. Hey, there's a boxer. Ooh, okay. I feel like you probably didn't boost. It'd be that funny if you it'd be funny if he decides to blind boost this and it's a three boost and he just like has the worst of both worlds. All right. This is fine. Okay. Alright, we'll see what it was. If it's the three boost. I mean, I guess he's going to be fine with getting three healing, but... I also yeah, regretted we'll not getting the damage, right? Yeah. Okay, it was a two. So still, would have been three damage. That is now four de or Is that five defenses gone now? <laughs> yes, that is five defenses. Almost okay. half of Daredevil's defense is gone. Two. All right, Daredevil, go and hit him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to see if I can keep track of this one card, because this would have been the card that got healed with if... Uh... if oh, if he boosted the, boost the, the attack, one? yeah. I'm just curious to see, because if it's another defense, I guess you're getting to the point where you don't want to be losing too many more of those. Yeah. In the spot where you have to breathe back defenses to stay alive, and then you run into five cancels against. Yeah. There's four cancels left against your one devil. The yeah. odds are not in your favor there. Yeah, exactly. Which I think this is good positioning here. I mean, if he's going to want to attack you, he's got to boost in. He could have horns, theoretically, but you have to boost in and then be on low ground. I think Bigfoot's fine, just double maneuvering. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. I will maneuver. That's fine. He didn't Which draw any he didn't draw any cancels. You boost in, you attack Jackalope with the devil, you start getting some cycling going, and then you're you're fine. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to do that to Bigfoot, because you don't want to be double attacked from high ground by Bigfoot. Uh, but Jack Loki, you know, he's not as scary in that card. regard. <laughs> yeah, if you boost maneuver in there, you're left with one card. Ah, who, who needs to worry about? <laughs> yeah, I think Bigfoot's going to really take advantage of that spot right there. May come in now, but I mean, I think if you just force Daredevil to be on low ground to attack you, especially with two of the grappling hooks gone, chances are he's going to be staying there. Yeah. You get high ground attacks. And when you're throwing sevens against basically threes on defense from Daredevil, you're feeling pretty good. 
yeah i think bigfoot basically has zero reason to ever go in at any point at this like stage like daredevil is gonna have to be the one to make the first move bigfoot has plenty of schemes mm -hmm. that he can use to put initiative back on daredevil's side and the the more hand count the daredevil builds up the less he's going to be able to boost which means he's also going to be open to big hits from bigfoot but also uh not able to really get any damage through bigfoot's defenses either it's also going to mean he, he can't punish the cancels as much because theoretically even if he does line up even if bigfoot does line up the cancels to the the devils you're guaranteeing good damage pretty much by boosting those but if you're not low mm -hmm. count, you can't obviously Okay, so it seems like he's trying to force initiative back on Bigfoot, but... Daredevil does have a lot of okay, passes as well with schemes, so I mean, we might just see them go back and forth, like, trying to put initiative on the other one. Okay, Bigfoot going in. Which could see something like a hoax here to hop back to that high mm. ground spot. Yeah, I like that. But if that's what Daredevil thinks is happening and he tries to faint, because he does still have all three feints, and those are actually half of his defenses left, basically. You might just hit for a yes. log here and be like, fine, hit me real hard, but you took... Okay, disengage also, kind of same purpose. Not as bad as fainting yeah. a log, obviously, so Daredevil's mostly fine with that. The only tough thing is if he hoaxes out or... Okay, so... But you can't get a blind boost here, which is feels Free bad. Damage, but there, I mean, it was already down to ten. Could have been down to eight. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean it's probably the right call, but man, another attack there, and you could blind boost it, man. Whoa! Uh, that would get it. And hey, if it was man without fear, and he doesn't cancel, you can get a double blind boost. Double blind boost. <laughs> Hit a man without fear and a two boost, it's an eight. That would be wild. Or, yeah, yeah, the man without fear double boosted up with a man without fear. Yeah, that would, there, a lot would have to go right, but that yeah. would be. <laughs> but okay. it'd be so good. <laughs> okay. Taking three. Okay, I'm not a in four. Chances are you're healing for two. Yeah. But so I mean, couple obviously be okay that's also not great because now that's your last knee gone and we're running very low on defenses that's now eight defenses out. and uh we have two feints okay. and uh then one each of boxer and grappling hook uh bigfoot yep. has used two logs already so we're not as worried about a faint going into a log but still it's a it's a possibility okay Savage okay Oh yeah, savagery is okay. nasty. All right, all right. Ooh. Are we doubling it? Uh -huh. from high Boo. ground. Like... Oh. Boo. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. I, might... I mean, you you just hit both good. breathers and the game's over. <laughs> yeah, that would be pretty rough. I guess you do still have a devil because that was the one that got cycled. But you hit like devil breathe and you're like, oh, now he only has to stop one more. <laughs> but still, can you imagine? It'd be pretty sick if you got something else <laughs> like adversity, man, without fear, or maybe adversity, adversity. I mean, the more health you knock off, the, the more dangerous that last boxer becomes. Mm -hmm. The through adversities are usually kind of written off, but you can get two damage there, so. I don't know. I think you need a few more big hits. It was into the disengage. Um, so it was into the disengage, yes. uh -huh. and that was, I think that was, I think the next turn you attacked with the devil to start with, so I think it should be like that. Okay, that makes sense. 
Because the breather got the double back the previous turn, then you went in with the disengage. Yeah, this is correct. True, yeah. true, 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 I think. All right, thank you guys. Good old um, Daredevil in his order of discard. Yeah, extra fun with Daredevil. <laughs> you got a whole little mini game that you're playing. Seems like my toes is just content keeping Jack away for as long as possible so you can get the full value out of the horns. Yeah, I mean, they do represent half of Daredevil's remaining HP at the moment, so. Yeah. That's fair. And with all the knees. Yeah, all the knees are gone currently. You try to breather him back, it's going to hurt you because it's going to put you further back from Devils. If he was able to get Devils off here, though, that would be huge. Two knees and another Devil back. But I'm just saying, we could have had two more damage from the the attack earlier. We could have boosted the Devil and had like two or three more. <laughs> we could have boosted the Devil boosted the man with that. We could be on game and three we would right probably uh, be. Uh, we'd probably the game would probably be over because we'd probably have hit devils or breathers, but hey, it would have been would have been crazy. I mean, if okay, things went up. perfectly, Daredevil could have Bigfoot down to like I don't know, like four or five right now. His, his yeah. deck would also be significantly smaller. He'd have like three cards left or something, but I don't know. Maybe it could have done something crazy. So breathers back a devil. So two devils in play, only one breeder left though. He really needs Bigfoot to not have a cancel in hand. Yeah. Which with three left, 14 in deck, odds are not in his favor, but you never know. Also the argument, unless that Torns was top decked, there's a strong argument that he doesn't end adjacent to you unless he's got the cancel. Because, like, he could have horns mm -hmm. and then maneuvered after unless the horns was the draw for the maneuver and that was the first horns he's seen. Face, right? But. Yeah, I think that's a fair point. But the uh, same time as Daredevil, really, what else can you do? You only have six I would guess you have two cards left in deck. You're even on health. You have to get the cancels out somehow. Yeah. So the question then is, does he think you're baiting? I mean, I think even if he does, he probably just always cancels. Because the problem is you don't have too many things left to attack with that are like baits. Because your verse styles, you're almost out. Um, and they're your only defenses other than yeah. Doctor. And then you got like the one man without fear. I mean, here's the other problem. Let's say you get a double off. You're still significantly behind Bigfoot in deck count. <laughs> so you really yeah, need multiple devils tough. to go through. And I, I guess, like, once you get one off, mm. especially if it's in a spot like this, if you get, like, if you recycle itself and something like a breather or, you know, if, if your first devil here gets fainted, but then you get a second one through and it recycles the other devil, it's like, you start getting to the point where you're going to overwhelm the cancels. But still. Yeah, we can start rolling downhill, exactly. Um, I think one of the problems is that a lot of your defenses are pretty far down in your deck. Yeah. You have six that are outside of the devil range right now. Yeah, that is fair as so well. So you can start getting off multiple yeah. in a chain in order to start taking those back. No. Okay, we have an attack. Ooh, okay. Yeah. They canceled yeah, on. Yeah. Got through the cancel, but that is one of the remaining defenses. It's also one of the non-faint defenses, which means logs are spooky. So there's one non-faint defense left? Is that right? One boxer? Uh, yes, that is correct. One boxer and two faints are the defenses remaining. Taking a skirmish. Jack's gonna. I was gonna say maybe Jack was gonna take the spot, but Bigfoot could maybe take the spot. Oh, just gonna back off. That's also fair. Daredevil is running very low on time. I will maneuver. Yeah. So, I mean, now, unless you're able to get to low hand count or 
get some healing off, you're just dead to the last log and then two horns. Or any combination of log and savageries or shifts. Could be thinking about boosting and then hitting Jackalope here. When she's at that awkward number where we'll have three in hand if he attacks. Yeah. So you can't get the blind boost, but don't have a big hand to be able to defend easily. Yeah. I think at this point, you're just like, I feel like you won't be blind boosting, so maybe you don't mind as much. You'd rather add it on defense than offense here. Especially if you're going into Jackalope, like you're not killing Jackalope um, at this stage, so you just want to get the cycle off of him and not be on low ground against Big yeah. Cat, though. To be fair, Jackalope still has fours no, he can hit with from easy. high ground, which are fives. <laughs> that is a little scary. <laughs> now, he could have gone through Jackalope to that purple square. There you go. Oh, he's right just going to play it. Okay, I see. Not boosting with it, just playing it. Which, what are your thoughts on using the jackalope damage or the scheme damage there on jackalope versus bigfoot? Um, I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna matter too much either way. This is definitely a uh, shift. You know, that's a rough one. Must not have to faint because I feel like you'd always okay. faint there otherwise. Yeah. Yeah, feels like this is just a camp. oh, wanted oh. to bait with it. Okay, okay. I I respect it. I respect it. Which, I mean, if you can kill Jackalope, that's four damage taken off the board for Bigfoot, but... And only one cancel left. We also need to get your healing back quick, yeah. otherwise logs and savagers just kill you. Yeah. Only one cancel, though. So. Well, the funny thing is, is if you don't kill Jackalope, you could just be dead if he's got double horns in hand. Four. Yeah. We know he has at least one devil in hand, right? Um, yeah, because he breathed the bag. Oh, that's true. Yeah, he still hasn't used that one. So I think you just got to swing with it. Maneuver. Uh, maneuvers. We'll see whether he just dies here or not. I think you had to swing with the devil there. I guess if you don't have a block, then that's problematic. But if you don't have a block and you're not going to swing with devil, then I think you got to blind boost that attack to try to kill Jackalo. Yeah. Alright, your turn. I mean, if you throw the devil there... Okay, he doesn't have double horns. If he cancels, he's dead. And if he doesn't, he can blind boost, and odds are he's probably dead as well, and you get your cycle off. Yeah. There's only one more cancel, and even if Jackalo did cancel there, uh, he dies, so I don't know. Yeah, I mean, exactly. it's probably a situation where you don't have a block, and it's like, well, now if Bigfoot, you you kill Jackalope, whether the whether the devil gets canceled or not, but then Bigfoot just maneuvers, boosts in, or crashes yeah. in, and then you die because you don't have a defense. <laughs> that, that's probably Basically, what the situation was. Will kill you. Yeah. yeah, I'm sure. I mean, there's only one defense left. Yeah. So, and you have to stay at low hand count, otherwise. Log kills you. Yeah, yeah, the log is a guaranteed kill if you don't, uh... Yeah, I think you needed to... I think you needed to, um... To double there. And just hope that Bigfoot doesn't go in. I mean, he's probably gonna always go in, though. Especially once he realizes Wait. you only have one defense left and it's feigned. Even if Jackal dies here, Bigfoot can just crash to high ground yeah, and then just hit for seven. Yeah, yeah. Here we have a cycle. Okay, we can survive if we faint the log and hit like if we hit like the man without fear. Not the other thing. The... Oh there's yeah, the that's true. You need to... <laughs> yeah, there's the crash. Okay. Um, we actually live no matter. Oh no, if we hit the faint, we die. If we hit uh, if we hit anything else, we do survive. Okay. 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 Take two. 
Only two damage. Two. So now Yen, you have two defenses now. You have another feint and a boxer. All the logs gone. Still two shifts and three savageries. There's a lot of damage. <laughs> it's it's too. a problem. <laughs> but you will be able to on low hand count this turn. But I think Bigfoot probably just buys his time until you're not on low hand count. Yeah. And then hits. Because yeah. the log is lethal against everything if you're not on low hand count. Yes. So I think we got we got a cycle middle. off, so that's that's something I suppose. <laughs> we got one. Okay, Big Quitch is going in. He's like, you didn't draw a defense. That was half the blind boost, unfortunately, for Daredevil. I will do. Oh no! That's bad. Weird. That's very bad. <laughs> There's still a breather left. Weird. That would have been much better as the man without fear. Yes. Or. Especially if he had that devil in hand. Because then he could attack here. And even if Bigfoot uses the last cancel, he'd still be able to breathe their back and get a guaranteed cycle. So that's a very rough that's sequence so there. So it's two. Um, two adversities. Oh, yeah, those would have been, been fine there. too, yeah. So three of your worst cards and hits the other devil. That's pretty, oh. pretty brutal. Oh, so literally, well, we don't know what the two cards in hand are, but theoretically, all like three of those four cards could have been <laughs> way better hits than yeah. the devil. So freaking why, why do I have two counters? It's the worst. Um... Yeah, honestly, if that devil was in, I'll, I'll be curious to see whether Bigfoot has the the. The faint here and not off the ask mitosis. But um if the devil was in hand and you hit something else with the boost there. I think Daredevil actually could have had some outs. Which I would assume the faint's in hand for him to go in. Otherwise you'd have just bided his time and Kaka yeah, would either have got low hand count and died or just had to boost away cards until he's just out of back. Cards. Yeah, I think that's that's actually a pretty good read, to be fair. The devil. Well, crash. Crash, uh, six value momentous <laughs> incoming. Oh, oh sorry. Okay, so now, I mean, if the devil gets canceled, it's over. I think it's over anyway, but. Uh, we'll never know what the deck order should have been. Uh, can they pause the time? Can they hear me? Uh, yeah. Did you put it on top or on bottom? I put it in and shuffled it. Alright. So, there's three cards, so... It, it's so, uh, what I would say the easiest way is just draw them to your hand, um, reveal only the devil, and then shuffle the other two back. Okay. Because there was no specific order that the other two were in, so random is random. You can shuffle my deck again. Just make, make, get, get a good shuffle in there. Um, Alright, so this goes into my hand. Yes. And yeah, now, uh, especially because it's likely that that last feint is available for Bigfoot. Um, good. No crashing. That's nice. He probably isn't too worried about the last Back devil down. since he just needs to stop it. It's not like Daredevil can double attack with other stuff without completely oh, being... Oh, there's two for one. Wait. Good trades. Oh, unless he blind boosts. Get the, get the, uh, go for the, the, the health differential. So, I mean, I guess his last four cards are Devil, Man Without Fear, and Two Through Adversities. So, yes. <laughs> not a lot to work with. <laughs> no, well, that's actually a really big problem because if, uh, if Bigfoot does have the the cancel he just always he does it if it's time. if it's the bait sure now you can devil but you're gonna die because you have no defense There's no cards in hand yeah um... all 
or what it, what is what's gonna happen is uh, the last card is Man Without Fear. He maneuvers, boosts in with uh, adversity, because that's gonna be able to reach no matter where Bigfoot goes. And then you attack with the devil as a seven. Bigfoot cancels it. You get five into him, so you put him to three. You get that health differential real low because you do the two here to him. They do do the one damage. Then I yeah, it's the, it's then, the best I mean, you can hope for. Finish. I was trying to see if there's any way. Now he could have two horns and a crash in hand, but if he maneuvers, he'll draw guaranteed something he can hit you with. Yeah. Oh, also, unless the, it's the, a regroup. The funny. Oh, true. The funny thing is, is Bigfoot could also just. Uh, Bigfoot could also just. Um, not Back off. faint he could just block with a four um and uh and he doesn't care if you cycle because you don't have a defense and you die <laughs> so if he wants yeah. to preserve the health differential he can he can just block value block not cancel the devil and then <laughs> kill you oh you gotta go with the cancel and then kill with regroup that is pretty funny so i approve the high ground regroup too. <laughs> so what you do is you crash and do it as a one value regroup to get exact lethal. Exact lethal, yeah. Oh no, cancel. I will blind boost it. This does become an eight, so no matter what the last card is, actually this becomes an eight. So I don't think you would want to blind boost it. I mean, it's not going to matter, but in theory, if you blind boosted it, wouldn't that take the devil out of your cycle? Uh, oh, the other one? Um, yeah, I guess yeah, so, so, but it doesn't matter. Is... Yeah, no, it's not going to make a difference here, but... I guess because he doesn't cancel here, um... <laughs> yes, let's go! <laughs> the regroup <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful. All right, I'll turn up the players here. Horrible matchup. <laughs> Horrible matchup. Both of them were. Well, I could not ask for. I mean, I could, there's worse. Of course, there's worse. But those were. Those I were don't know. Dare, Daredevil Bigfoot's pretty bad. Daredevil Bigfoot is 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 really bad. I have to dodge five feints. Uh, the the only turn I regret. There's only one move that I regret. Is when I threw out the. I had like 12 health or something. I was sitting here. And I attacked with the with this one first. Yeah. And I had a breather. I was my only two cards were this, I think, or something like that. I think I had a breather. I figure this. it was some garbage. So you had blown through like all of your good cards. I could have breathed it back and then attacked with the four. If you did that, I had an imagination. So you did have the faint, okay. Yep, I was ready. Okay. Because you didn't do anything, I just knew I'm safe to get out of your first action. Okay, good. All right, then I don't regret it. I don't regret it. All right. Then I played that perfectly, <laughs> and it just sucked. <laughs> <laughs> um, dang. Yeah, that's rough. That is so rough. Yeah. But good games. Uh, good, good, games. Good, good drafting and assigning. Thank you. 50% of the game, and maybe more, is, is drafting and assigning. You know, it's like, that's a huge part of the it, yeah. of this game. And you you uh, did really well. Won the mind games. So, commentators, do you have anything to say? Well, I was going to say, I mean, it seemed like a lot of it came down to matchups. I mean, Tomoe Wukong is 100% for Wukong in 11 plays, and Daredevil Bigfoot's 92% for Bigfoot through yeah. 40 plays. Those are awful. Yeah. Yeah, I, I gave it my best shot, boys. <laughs> I uh I, I was gonna say that we did not spin the the roulette wheel enough on this one and just blind boost at every opportunity. <laughs> it probably wouldn't have helped, but hey, it would have been funny. Did I... you see what blind boosting got him? It got rid of his last knee. Well it to be fair, the, the, the knee hit was... the knee. That's basically blind And these, these were forced. I'm saying if, if he did it earlier, he wouldn't have been forced me. <laughs> no, everything would have had to go perfectly, and obviously that's no, no guarantee. Yeah, I I was looking at the health and stuff, and Jackalope was alive, and, like, yeah. it just... I, I, 
Maybe, maybe if maybe out of the gate, you know, turn one, I, I blind boost it and and just and just commit and see what happens. Yeah, yeah. I didn't. I I don't. One, I don't play Daredevil very often. I love mm -hmm. playing like I, I like it when I play as him, but um, I don't play enough to have like done a lot of the blind boost strat. So I'm definitely way more familiar and comfortable with going for infinite. Um, and. Even even into Bigfoot, I felt like okay. I just need to. Like I was close, but like like mm -hmm. I just need to get not close. I was sort of close. Um, I just need to hope that he doesn't have the feints, right? If he doesn't draw f five, and I can get a couple, like especially like that first one. If I can get that first one, oh, I feel a lot better. That very first one. Um, but it did not. Alas, it did not work. Um, yeah. I mean, there was there was like one point where if because uh, I think it was I think it was when Jackalope attacked you over on the left side and um, <clears throat> you boosted a defense and it, it was the first devil that got hit on that blind boost and uh, if you had instead because yeah I think it was a, I think it was the faint that got boosted right. or something um, but if if that if instead that faint had been boosted with like, you know, a, a, through adversity or something, and you had the devil in hand. Um, you could have like swung and got in Jackalope, even if he cancels it, he dies, and then like you have some interesting yep. sequences. But, but yeah, no, it was it was it was a bit rough. Um, the the interesting thing is, uh, one of the things that the blind view strategy could do if you like, especially if you were able to swing a Bigfoot for them. Is if he does cancel and you're it needs canceling devils, you can potentially get good damage over that, especially if you're on high ground, which a couple cases you were. Yes, um, yeah. But obviously, again, if you hit the wrong stuff at the wrong time, it just stops it right in its tracks. So yeah. the, the likelihood of it working out is probably not too high. But also, the so, matchup is miserable as a whole. Yes, so maybe yeah. you just kind of have to. <laughs> yeah, I think I think maybe next time I would uh, just go just since Full it's, send since it, it's awful. Yeah, because because you have a you have a couple outs. You have you have the the punishing the feints with the big boosting over it, and then you also have well maybe Bigfoot just doesn't draw the cancels, so right. you just go for it at full throttle and hopefully. Oh, would right. like out. to see what my opening hand was? Uh, yeah, I would. Because this was the easiest keep of my life. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That'll do yeah. it. That'll do it. It did feel like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So the I mean, I was I was staying at low hand count, right? I was keeping the blind boosting always an, as an option, which made him have to respect a little more, like the damage that he could potentially take. Um, yep. And 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 also I could I could defend I could stay alive with with you know getting hit, but. Um, I think I do really th the, the the drafting and the signing the the this game this matchup whole entirely could have gone in the like the opposite in my opinion. Um, we had our three fighters. He had three. I had three. Right. I had uh, Tomoe, Achilles, and and Daredevil. And his three were sisters, and then these two. Right. And it was like rock paper scissors of okay if I keep like what I want obviously is I want Daredevil into Wukong. Yep. I want I want Tomoe into sisters. I think that she actually will do really well there. Um and then and then I want Achilles, you know, he's just like the he can do all of it, right? But not but not really good into most of it. He'd probably lose his sisters. Um he probably loses to Wukong, but I think he does he can beat uh, Bigfoot. And um and then and so it comes down to, to that whole thing. And I was hoping that he was looking at my history and like seeing that I had like a really good win rate with Achilles and a lot of plays and that he would ban thinking that I was going to keep Achilles and that I hadn't ever played Daredevil and that he would like, you know, that kind of thing. But he did go with the, I think the safer, the safer option, like the, he, he went off base of like um, Achilles is not as good into two of his fighters of the three. And so I'll probably ban that one, mm -hmm. which is what happened. I was just hoping that like the low more was, I thought, I was trying, and then <laughs> then we had the two fighters, right? So now I've got Wu Kong and Tomoe, and he has Bigfoot. Sorry, you can switch that. You know, you know what he has. He, um, and so I'm like, okay, matchup one. I go position. He's got map, and 
I, I need to line up Wukong and Daredevil. Which, when you need to line up a, a counter, you have to play that matchup first, right? Which, in my opinion, because I have to line that up, he was definitely going to go Bigfoot first. Um, also because he gets his uh, map, and I was like, well, Bigfoot's great on disadvantage. He's, he's, he loves it, right? So I, I was expecting the, the Bigfoot play there. Um, and so I was like, let me go with Tomoe, get the position. We'll do this uh, into Bigfoot. Maybe we win it. Maybe we don't, whatever. But I... But then I saw when as soon as he flipped over Wukong, I was like, I've lost this whole matchup. This entire <laughs> thing, it's it's over. Yeah. And and it, it's like, dang it, I just, ugh, it hurt. That hurt so hard. <laughs> but hey, my toasters, congrats! You you made it to out of bracket, and uh, yeah, I gotta go. Did. I gotta go beat some double crunch now. <laughs> Best of luck with that. I know, I know. He's my we're pals. He's in my league, my team league. I don't want to. I don't want to. Have to fight him to get here. I had to kill my own teammates. It's, yeah, it's, I don't know why they did that. Karma. They did it to everybody. They're making us kill our. It's part of it's like part for the course, game. man. What goes around comes around. We <laughs> practice together too much. We got to take each other out. Apparently, it's brutal. It's brutal. Yeah, thank you guys for hosting. Um, yeah, and uh, thanks for the games. Those are those are fun, even though they were they were rough. Oh yes, one last thing before I go. I was told to pass on a message. Lunadex sends their regards. Good night. <laughs> Good night. I don't understand that, but <laughs> I'll still chuckle at it. <laughs> well, so, well, thanks for reaching uh, out, and uh, best of luck as you you go on to your last match. Yeah, thanks. Oh, it'd be it'd be a bummer to lose it. I got I, ugh, man drafts an assignment. It comes down. This feels like I got arsenal. It feels like I got arsenal, and it mm -hmm. feels like I got. Um, laddered like pre pre ladder 2.0 like <laughs> yeah this what, that's what this feels like yeah no uh, I, I had a similar thing uh earlier but that was mostly due to missing something during the draft so definitely get how that goes <laughs> but yeah yeah yours with uh ito yeah 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 i saw i just saw the result of it um yeah so you're you're one and one or one mm -hmm. and oh or, or one, sorry, one, oh, one one yeah one one, one, one. well I hope you make it. And, yeah, we uh, shall see. Uh, and Plaza, if you're still there, thanks for, for doing that. Of course. No, those are great to watch. You made both those games very close. So it was Dude. enjoyable to watch you trying to fight against the odds. I tried, man. I tried. It was painful. Oh, we kept trying to find possible ways. We're like, well, if this happens, then this happens, baby. Um, but the, right. the blind boost didn't work in your favor. The fact that five defenses were gone in the first six cards kind of um, thanks the uh the tomoe game that f that finishing what do you guys think about that because we didn't talk about it um when he's top right corner i think he's down to three or four health and i took it because at the point it felt like i needed a hail mary um and also my faint was at the bottom he knew it was at the bottom so i figured a zero was probably coming like not because I can faint it, but because I would, I would kill him with the with the damage. Um, what do you guys think about that? Was it like, oh uh, yeah, I would have I would have done that differently? Or... Yeah, I mean, we had some interesting things we were looking at there um, near the end. Uh, I think one of the one of the big things was um, like you were never gonna use the the seven the seven obviously because right. he was holding chainmail the whole time. Yeah, but. Um, did you have? I can't remember. What did he bottom with the fiery? Was it the? So I had skirmish the... and the faint on the bottom. I had okay. uh, the three that becomes a five, the seven, and then and the deeds, and the deeds maybe. Okay, yeah. yeah okay, that that's that's what I was because I couldn't remember whether he bottomed the flash or the deeds, and it makes sense that he bottomed the flash, um, because if you had flash, obviously you could always block with it there. If it's the mm -hmm. seven, then you make it a six. Boost and it with if, a six. It's, yeah, yeah. if it's the uh, the Jingle Bong, the clone doesn't get the double attack because it dies. Um, but yeah, exactly. with the with the deeds, obviously, if you block and it's the Jingle Bong, you lose pretty much because mm -hmm. you lose yep. two cards, and that's yep. like you can't afford to at that point. Um, yeah. So yeah, it really does does just come down to making the right call. So yeah, it's it's yeah. rough either way. Um, I think I think there were a couple things that I like. One of the things earlier was using the one of the warriors' ways against a clone, 
I think that hurt you a lot because Warriors that ways. represents the push. Yeah, it's the it's yeah. The push. That was a mistake. That was a play mistake. Yeah, I was uh, I was I was thinking because I kind of heard you after like, oh wait, this doesn't this is not do what yeah, I want. And I, I play her all the time, and I the, I'm so zoomed out that I can't. I forgot that wait, was it was the option. Uh, sh I mean, uh, is space. If you hold space, space. it'll Son zoom of a gun. in. So yeah, yeah uh, I forgot that I could do all that, and so I wasn't reading my cards, and I know my <laughs> yeah. cards, all of them. I know them like, like pretty much by heart, and then that one. I was like, oh, this is so good. I'm going to hit him. Because you think of the clones as... Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? It's an easy, so it's that, an easy that, thing to miss, of course. That mental uh, lapse was, was pretty big because, obviously, I mean, I, you saw the, the, the latter one I did. It was great. Like, like against Wukong, it's awesome, right? Because um, I'm not going to get, I'm not going to take damage. It doesn't matter what he does. I can push him still and take him down, like all that stuff. But, um, yeah, I was I was going to push the, the clone and then get next to him. Um, and then... And then, uh, whatever, kill, uh, attack Uka. So yeah, that was, that was a mistake. Big, big play mistake there. Mm -hmm. um, and then the the one of the tough tough things, and I didn't know how close it was going to come at the end, but it it might have actually been much closer in fatigue for both of us. Had I, no, I don't know, because so I was using the the action gain scheme, whatever it's called, the the Lord Kiso. So I was using Kiso right to get in. To give him ping damage and also to prevent him from making babies. Yeah. Um, so it felt like kind of cool that way. Um, and it worked, but also I'm not getting a pass. I'm not going to heal. But if I'm if I don't do that, then maybe the tempo's gone. Like I don't. It was like a whole the whole game was just like like I don't know back and forth of well this is this has reason but this has like I don't know would would you have the, the only his heals. Um, no, I think I think the the way that you used them was pretty solid um, each time. I actually really liked the one at the end that was the heal um, and just ending just, adjacent because um, mm -hmm. I don't think attacking there would have done much at that stage mm -hmm. uh, based on what you had left. Um, right, the fact that seven. he still had like a, yeah. at least we we knew he had a chainmail and then he still had uh, another one that he could have drawn into um, yep. if he didn't already wasn't already holding it. But, and um, he hadn't used infinite yet, so I was expecting infinites a bunch because he had two yeah. guys. So yeah. I expected that, um, and that's what we got. We got the infinite, and then uh, he discarded an infinite. So it that, it felt good. I felt like a good interaction. Um, but no, I think it was the right call. I mean, with that map and the number of clones he had on the board, you weren't really going to get many attacks otherwise. So. I mean, if you think about it too, he's probably gonna maneuver out of your zone, so he's taking one damage anyway. Exactly. And he's not make a clone, so he's losing a potential, like eventual right. healing Phoenix there. So it kind of works out to two health either way, and this gives you an extra action to attack him. So I think you kind of had to. Okay, cool. Yeah, that was those are tough decisions, um, but I I felt felt like they were pretty good. Um, not the way I usually would play her, but it was like, it just felt. Yeah, it was it was it was it was a rough. It was rough. <laughs> well, I mean, it's tough when your finisher is probably just going to be three damage back to you, so you can't really use it anymore. I know, I know, I know. Maybe, maybe what you do, honestly, okay, this is like, this might be the worst idea ever. You seven the clones early, knowing that they have the four, and you just take it, but you do it on your first action so that. You're gaining, so it's really only one damage to you if you think about it, in like the scheme of of the, of the thing. And then also, then the fours are gone, and now you can hit with their fives and everything else. That would be a weird. <laughs> no, but yeah, then they just no, no, no. Never mind. What am I talking about? Then you just take it. Then you just take it. That's so that's so bad. That's a terrible idea. Never mind. The only thing we were saying is possible with the sevens is if you just hold confront until he plays a jingo bong and play it on the second half to guarantee that it triggers, and then you. Rip his, you look at his yeah. hand, he happens to only have one ultimate defense. You rip it out and then somehow get in and hit. But so much right. needs to go right in order for that right. to happen. Right. And that was one of the plays. Uh, I attacked with uh, a clone with it. He had been defending the clones up to that point, and I attacked with one and he took it. That was bad. Um, I was hoping to take out, because I had just taken out the other one. Like, So I was hoping to take out whatever he had just drawn. It was like the Phoenix or it was a seven. Um, he just put it back in his hand. Um, it, it it I didn't think he was ever gonna throw a zero. Mm -hmm. Um it felt like he was not doing that and he he pretty much didn't for a long time. 
because of my uh it's the same it's the same thing it's like you're, you're not gonna throw a zero because i'm not throwing because i have my uh the demon whatever it's called yeah and then i'm not gonna throw my seven because you have your four like there's a bunch of interactions like there was like we're just not gonna do this and i guess maybe i just hold mine until the end because then that's keeping him from throwing his zero i don't i don't know and also my face keep him throwing maybe i should never have expected the zero ever and you just you never that's weird you keep your feints you keep your demons he keeps his zeros and he keeps his fours. I keep my sevens. So we just. <laughs> <laughs> just nobody can attack with like half their deck. Just don't play with your cards. But then there's the next <laughs> level of mind game where it's like, well, maybe you just go for it at some point and throw them off. Who knows? Yeah, Obviously, you're seven, you can't do. because it's that, so up. I know. Outside he of that. <laughs> he doesn't have to tell you when he's throwing the zero. But yeah. He knows exactly <laughs> I know. Or so he doesn't tell you when he's throwing favor. Yeah, he also doesn't have to tell me about his seven, which is yes. very unfair. <laughs> <laughs> I even caught the sevens. I caught the only interaction I really lost was that that last one, the seven that that just to the face. Mm -hmm. um, but I caught, I cut. I felt like I was all right. Whatever, we can talk all day about it. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> hey, thank you guys. Yeah, of course. Have a good and, rest uh, of your night, man. Thanks. You too. Later. And I'm thanks. Still, I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, M Plaza, for joining. This was fun. Okay.